Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fortnite video. In today's video we are going to watch the winners for the Ninja Battles Week 4. Skittles, Avery and uh, Arkham ended up winning the tournament for this week. Congratulations to them, it was a really nice tournament to watch overall. I'll leave you with all end games now, but before that please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We are very close to 1600 subscribers, so if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, until then, bye. Following up on another here's unknown perspective. You know he's walking in trying to get aggro and he gets punished. Okay, so not for free. He oh did. my gosh, gets met with a big shot. Yeah, man. I, I mean, dude, unknown is one of the most aggressive players I've ever seen. Incredible control player. Also can play on mouse and keyboard at a high level. I mean, that's just a little too aggro, man. Unless his teammates told him <laughs> to go psycho, you know what I'm saying? Like, let him off the leash, yeah. like, go get as many kills as possible. Unless they told him to do that, I, I think that's a bad play thing to misplay. <laughs> I, I'm gonna. I'm willing to bet that that's exactly what happened from Zinn Sap. They're like, unknown. I don't know what you what, what to do with you up here. Yep. Like, just go frag. Just go yep. frag. Regardless. Yeah, I, think I think those. I think those were the comms for sure. Here it is. <laughs> someone someone comes up. Someone goes for high ground. It's Zayt now have to defend by himself here. No, they get taken out. Who was it? It was Arkham, 100 Thieves. Arkham who steps up to the plate. And now Avery, Skittles, and Arkham have high ground. And it's theirs to do with it. They want, man. Look at that. I love it, man. They came so much fun to watch, man. The high ground retakes. It's so incredible to see what people can do with lot with just no mats, a lot of mats, how they're gonna play it out. If they're gonna go aggressive or just try to get the placement right, take that first place. Throwing the minis, distributing so that. Love that mechanic. Four, four teams remaining. Siege just got taken out. He was solo, and now it's actually reverse 2K. Day and Miro contesting against oh. Avery and crew, but they completely wiped them so fast. Now Skittles and Avery in a one or two versus four. Oh, one's down. Okay, Arkham's still up. That's why I'm confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two versus three. I think it's a full trio down below. I'm not quite sure who it is. They're going to have to spray through because no materials means they're not going to have to be able to stay up here. They have to drop down. It's Commandment. Scented and edgy in the three versus two. Yeah, not only that, Avery can't stand the test of time. He doesn't have the HP. They have to commit. He needs something big, and he needs it now. He opens it up, and oh, gets punished. Big time from the low ground. Now it's up to Skittles. 68 HP, but Edgy's on his way up. The good control, too. He wants high ground. Wait a second, Skittles. Okay, that was close, but not enough. Commandment, Edgy, and sense it. Take game one. Dude, Commandment's so talented, man. You love to see it. Absolutely incredible game. So many different ways. There goes the shockwaves. We're going to see it again here from business perspective. Look, he's looking straight upwards right now, trying to get a piece of this action as Macwood's looking to, uh, you know, just connect the builds here. But it is going to be enough for now, and they're going to hold it. Now, Arkham did the exact same thing he did in the first game, by the way. He waited right around the seventh eighth circle and then started to use their util. Unfortunately, they weren't able to secure it. TSM held it. And I mean... I think right now it's kind of anyone's game. Looks like it's just a K. Oh, oh my God! What oh my a freaking one pump, man! What a shot, dude! Was that reverse, my boy? From behind. Oh, he's on a max. He landed the water. Reverse so low, and he's gonna go down. Miro, just the last player who tried to contest up towards height. Yes, he's still alive, but Macwood and Calc have held on. Meanwhile, I think I still see Avery. Up. Oh, another shot for Macwood. He goes back up again. Nate Hill behind him. Yes, one crack, but not wow. enough there. Finally, he does, so and Macwood's putting up on the clinic. Macwood doing something with nothing right now. Finding players in his zone. Shark looks like he's gonna trickle over soon, and yes, he's gonna get that Elim too. As a full trio, all of a sudden, they find themselves with nine Elims. Still, three players alive here to take out that's plenty of points for the boys here in low ground though nosh the sole survivor for his uh, team here trying to make best of the situation ninja it's not looking good for anyone right now because it's a 3v2v1 this is easy wins right now for zexro mac and calc they're gonna clean up there goes nosh man he tried to make the flopper play not gonna happen but clips making some wait plays. a second to knock on one wait yeah, a second, wait a oh second. My God. what no shot bro that was incredible. That was like two insane one pumps. He had a nasty flank. I think he came out of zone, caught so many people off guard. Wow, I didn't think they were gonna lose that. Yeah, straight through. It was Zexro, Calc, and everybody trying to clean up the lobby. They were stuck in a box. Certainly like fish in this case. Eclipse just shut them all up. Oh my goodness. I mean, I set it up for Ninja to say, hey, they're going to win this game. And then it just wasn't, it wasn't even that. Like, it was the opposite of that. And you never really see that. Like, you never see someone clutch up like that.
That's hard, man. That's hard. Like, I think you saw the TSM boy. Chat, still alive, and that's the refresher that they need. Into the zone they go. This is chaos. How do you keep up with this in the final moments? It's like everyone for themselves right now. That's basically exactly what it is, man, which is why you want to have incredible teammates who are confident. You trust them to be able to clutch up and carry and make incredible smart plays by Ooh. themselves. A nasty double kill from Booga, man. Our ex-world champion solo player. And he gets another kill. What, what, oh, my God. What is going on? That flick was nasty. So They're many. All alone, by the way. And he did get the big impact. Chap had gone down, so all the massive is on him. Plus the two that he just took out, he could actually survive towards the end. Arkham completely eliminated. Bucky and Stretch still here. And I believe up on high ground, we have Creo as well. Commandment in this, Saf, but the full trio still lurks down on low ground. Mm. You see Bucky just looking down. They have that high ground. They're holding it. You got to assume everyone's out of materials. Just look, zero mass for Coop as well. He's trying to play anything desperately now for policeman points here his mech is going to go off booga is by himself he needs to do something massive he already has done so much yes the zone's going to favor him he's going to be able to go back here now day stay alive holding a torch for his crew no he gets melted from up above now booga no mats man so he's by himself it, bro. <laughs> i love this part man <laughs> so difficult to play in these situations, but Booga is one of the best at it. Meanwhile, Saf has taken out a bunch. And I think he actually has almost height, but here we finally have Booga going all the way down to low. He had a slight engagement. Fierce has been taken out by Bucky. Crunchy behind Booga. He'll have to deal with him too. No time to take the mini, and he misses the shot that he needed so much, but the path has already been built. There, he gets shot from behind. Crunchy is also going to get met with another one, so Stretch still alive here. That's going to be a massive frag. Ten already in a full trio. They're just on the hunt. One player left. Who is it? Someone scrambling between the builds. Yeah, just trying to stay alive here. Okay, he's just going to find one. Wait, this is possible potentially right now. Can he do a clutch? No. no. Not going to be enough. GG's, boys. Incredible game right there, man. And so many eliminations, too. What is happening with somehow Nick snatches high ground. Punisher is going to find Blake as well. So there is a big change up. And that's what happens when you get granted that half and half out. So it looks like they're making the best of it. But no. That they do. But first 2K gets it right back. So I'm not sure where Nick A30 went. But he got another Elim. So things are looking good before getting taken down by Day. Scented. Shockwaving up. Edgy 2. Reverse 2K has lost it now in the top 8. More placements going out. So Arkham Skittles and Avery right now. They're playing the passive game. They're playing the quiet game. They're playing the winning game though. Because given the fact that we know the top team has fallen. All they need to do is play the quiet game and potentially earn themselves a top spot in Ninja Battles Week 4, but he does pick up at least some mats to work with. That's right. You can see that the shockwaves didn't pay out. They didn't get to their teammates in time. Arkham tries to make a big play for height. Not going to work out. Commandment's going to hit him with a big pump shot. Remember, they didn't have a lot of elims before. Reverse falls to the same fate as well. And out goes Miro Day and Reverse now. No longer able to accrue points. Six teams in the game. So lots of placements still given out, but more to earn here for the rest of these competitors. And Skittles is now the last remaining player of what we have to assume is first place now, given the fact that they've got the one elim. Almost make it two, but there's a player on the outside. Bizzle, he has to go down for Skittles to actually survive. And no, there's no floppers in zone. So Bizzle will hold him out. Now it's all up to Commandment, Sentin, and Edgy. They were top five before this game. Potentially now could rise all the way up and challenge against Arkham and crew. And they're doing just that. Slaying down on low ground with a few. And also trying to pressure down onto Bucky and Creo. It's now top three of teams. Finally, though, Commandment and team finally getting some points that they much need. Abyss is going to get met with a big shock and shot. All these hype plays are just getting shut down by Commandment, Sensit, and Edgy right now. As you'd expect, they just don't miss when the present uh, the opportunity presents itself here. But now, just one more player down in the low ground. It's a 2v1 situation. It's Mega, who somehow survived all that, even without Bizzle and team. And it's not going to be enough. It's going to be a clean sweep for Scented, Edgy, and Commandment here. It's been low here, the easiest place to find your teammates. One call is down here. Get to me is what he needs. Some backup here is Arkham now trying to work his way around the outer edge. And yes, Arkham's crew is all together. Multiple Elims for Arkham, Avery, and Skittles. 
Day is still up as well. I saw him get a couple of frags. Stretch two. Well, we might be paying attention to these three, which is so important because they're at the top. And if they claim all the placement points as well, it literally has to be a difference in Elims, which I don't think will happen. Furious is in trouble. Eclipse is down. Commandment's actually firing upon them. And he might even be able to get close to them. Edgy's right on that wall. Meanwhile, Skittles and crew, they're right now for free, and they did get a pick on the day. He went down the zone. They have Silver Surfers if they do want to make a play for height. Commandment picks one up in zone. Ilus, gets Ilus back gets to his team. Oh, Ilus Ilus is in the truck. Ilus in the truck. They can sit here for so long, and it's also going to be a path for them to take this truck all the way to end. Oh. Nobody can hop in. Not a single person. This is a ride towards the top, but still they have to outplay Commandment, Edgy, and Scented. They need Elips. He started doing now. They jump out. No material. No. Illus gets taken out. Now it's up to Furious by himself. This is up in the air for first place right now, but Avery and crew still finding so much. What is Furious going to do? He gets taken out. Crossed off the board. It's no longer possible. And now Avery, Skittles, and Arkham already at 10 eliminations. Looking the best. The kill threshold for this game already. That they are. But also this win matters so much. That's an extra three points if you get towards second. Skittles now, 10 Elims with Avery. That makes 12, 12 points. Potentially wow. another, yes, the timing is good. And still we have Commandment Sentinel and Edgy out. They're done, they don't even make it towards top four. It's just Creo, Stretch and Crew now against Nosh. I think Skittles still down on low ground. Potentially Arkham still alive in this one too. Top two, two versus one. Clicks against Stretch. Not sure where this is going. It is Stretch who wins the game. Creo down on low ground with the support against Clicks. They make it happen and they get. Uh, Zayton Staff just told Unknown to dive or something like that. We didn't have the comms, but in any case, final page before we reveal our winner. And here are those players Mega, Bizzle, and Dub turned up in the last game. 11 points to put themselves at 36 and top seven. Zyphonox and Clicks. Remember, they got second in this last one. That's right, and Calc, Macwood, and Zex there do just enough to hold their top 10. Here it is. We're about to turn into this last page, Bala. Last page, let's do this. Who wins Ninja Battles Week 4 for one final time that I'll say it? It's Skittles, Avery, and Arkham by six points over Commandment Scented and Edgy. And all because of the monstrous last game there. You see it, the 20 points, way to strong. Hold and keep it on the closeout there, and that's your... Beautiful shot there, the celebratory, uh, you know, overlay. Skittles, Avery, and Arkham, well played for the kids. An awesome job from uh, all of them, obviously, but Arkham has gotten close, and he is a West player. So don't forget that. He is a player yeah. who's playing off ping with two that are, uh, of course, on ping. And I think this was the last minute trio, so a, a team that, you know, formed in the very, very last seconds before the tournament. So well done from them to find the chem and to win the tournament. That was, that was insane. They had multiple really, really good games. Definitely, but kind of a heartbreak too to see a team that took two victories out of the top five not take the tournament but still everyone else is up there well played it was a great game overall um lucky for us though bala we are gonna be able to peer into the inside of the winners this time around 